Audio is probably one of the most neglected components of filmmaking by new filmmakers. And by audio, I'm referring to two main categories here. The sound design, including the Foley sound effects and overall mix, and also the music. For the sound design, it's important to understand what you're looking for. Obviously, we'll look more at this in the upcoming training course on audio, but I wanted a really strong mix. This is a fantasy film that takes place in an imaginary world with magic and stuff. So there are different rules and standards for that genre, typically. So in early tests from our sound designer, the balance of all auditory elements was fantastic, and you know, the sound felt very natural. A child will come to save us. This is but as the director, it was important to me that the whole film felt a little larger than life. The colors, the music, the sound design. If it felt natural, we're in trouble here. I mean, this is a fantasy film, so we have to lay it on a little thicker. So I had our sound designer add a little bit more compression and boost the levels a little bit. Here's the original sound mix. A child will come to save us. And here's the final sound mix. A child will come to save us. Now, if this were like a drama or comedy or something like that, these levels would be too big, of course. But this is a directing choice, it's subjective. As director, you can't just hand off your project to professionals and expect that you'll get the best results for your film just because the professionals are really good. This is your story as director, and you should understand how compression affects the sound mix and the mood of a piece. And speaking of the mood of a piece, there's really nothing that adjusts the mood more than music. The soundtrack to your film is an incredibly powerful tool for shaping the emotions of the audience in a very precise way. Soon after we wrapped production, I created a simple trailer for the assurance, along with some quickly thrown together music that I was starting to compose for the film. What's going to happen? She must be banished! I was actually really happy with this music, but I ended up not even using it in the movie at all. It sounds like fantasy film music to me, which is good, I suppose, but trumpets and other brass instruments felt out of place for the tone that we ended up creating for the film. This felt too much like adventuring music, and this movie wasn't about adventuring or conquering. It was about realizing. And as the director, you'll need to be keenly aware of how music is affecting the tone of your film. Even slight changes in orchestration or arrangement can make your film feel very different. It can be a good thing or a bad thing. But you'll have an easier time making all decisions in regards to the audio of your film if you're aware of what audio can do for your film and the subtle shifts in tone that can come from the music you use.